You're still watching the game. The return of NBA 3X Philippines event happens this weekend, and NBA legend Jason Williams is in Manila to join the festivities. Our very own Coach Willie Wilson sat with the 2006 NBA champion in this special edition of Inside the Game. We are so happy to have you. I'm so glad you're back. You were back, you were here on 2012, giving work to some PBA legends. I don't know if, if you remember how impactful you were at that time, raining threes from all over the court. But I mean, from then till now, how does it feel to be back? It feels great. First of all, thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, we did have a good time in 2012. Uh, I'm not sure if we won the game, but if I had to bet, I'd say we did win the game. Uh, <laughs> But no, it is good to be back, you know, for the for the uh, 3X championship here in, in, in Manila. You know, hopefully uh, we'll see some good basketball players and some good games. Hoop all over the world, especially in the Philippines, started in the half court. All you need is a ball and a hoop, get a few friends with you, and get a game started. For you, being able to be as creative as you were on the court, how does the NBA 3, the 3X basketball resonate with you? Um, you know, if I had a, if I had a choice, I'd rather play full court. But but three on three, you definitely have to have a, a sharp mind and, and and quick reflexes for that game because it's such a, a quick turnaround. You know, a, a rebound off a missed shot, you could be uh, uh, getting dunked on any minute. You know, so so you definitely have to be smart in, in what you do and, and take advantage of other teams' mistakes. Coming this weekend, what are you what are you excited? to teach all of these aspiring Filipino hoopers? Uh, just to teach them to have fun with it, man. And, you know, I mean, winning winning is, is probably definitely, it is the most important thing. But at the same time, man, I think I think you gotta have fun with it. And, and not everybody's gonna be able to play pro ball. It doesn't matter at what level, you know. So just take that in consideration. And like I said, man, have fun and, and, and just try to get buckets. The game has evolved so much from when you were playing to today. I kind of, I kind of feel like you, you had a real, real big hand in, in the shape of the way the game is going today. But with your YouTube mixtape on the NBA's official YouTube, 18 million plus views, and it's still going up. I talked to you earlier. My son gets on there and, and he starts watching your highlights. How does it feel that your mixtape from your playing day still resonates with players today? Man, well, it definitely makes me feel good, but at the same time, I think I don't think my my teammates get enough credit. You know, without those guys, there wouldn't be no mixtape. So, uh, yeah, I was making the passes and things like that, but some of those passes were tough to catch, and and probably a lot of, a lot of people, normal people, wouldn't catch them. And, and those dudes caught them. And like I said, I had great teammates to to make me who I am. It's not just me, bro. This is kind of surreal for me growing up in Los Angeles. I was a Laker fan, yeah. and we were kind of trained to hate all other teams. Right. But you made it so hard, you know, go, um, going with the Kings. You came in at a, at a perfect time. Jordan had just left the NBA, and the NBA was kind of looking for that spark, and you kind of came in and gave that. So on those nights, you know, it was a lockout season. On those nights that that I'm looking for the Lakers to, to, to do work, and they kind of, you know, they kind of don't. We were able to kind of look at you and, and I'm like, man, I don't want to really root for this guy, but he's doing so many amazing things out there. And, and I just want to say that 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 was just such a joy to see. And, and how would you, in today's NBA, a prime J Will fare against these guys now? Yeah, I appreciate that uh, comment. And, and, and I'll get to your, the answer to the question. And like you said, I kind of saved the NBA or things like that. It, again, it was my teammates. and. And, and you got to show love to Vince Carter too. He definitely, he definitely had an influence in that in that, in that lockout year too. So, um, but yeah, I think I think I would be okay today in, in today's game. Um, it'd be tough for me to score 25, 30 points like I said these guards do today. But because I'm not looking to score and shoot the ball like that, but definitely um, the way these guys shoot the ball today, I think I could average whatever amount of assists that you know, depending on the minutes that I got. With the pace of space, I think guys would be too worried about your passing ability, and that would just leave you open to just get your buckets. Mm -hmm. So that, that's hey, just my, my personal opinion. I appreciate that. I, I mean, I, I'd try my best. i tell you what, if I could do it again, but that's not going to happen. So 12 years, an NBA all-rookie team, a 2006 championship. Give me your favorite memory in that long, illustrious career. I mean, <clears throat> 
it has to be winning a championship, you know I mean? That's what, that's what we all play the game for, or that's what you should play the game for, um, is to win a championship. You know, they say the money and, the, and all that, that just, that's just part of it, you know. Uh, actually, actually maybe, maybe that journey that year in 2006, bro, that from day one in training camp to get to that, to get to that championship, all the stuff that we went through as a team, man, those, those 15 guys in that locker room and, and the trainers and the coaches, bro, it's like those, 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 that, that really can't be told, the stories of that, what we went through to win that championship. And then to see us win the championship, that was kind of the easy part to win that championship, especially when you got D-Wade and Shaq. Um, that makes things a lot easier. But, but yeah, that journey and, and that year in 2006 was probably the, the highlight of my career for sure. Going back to 2012, you played against some Filipino legends. So you kind of see the, the, the style of play, it's changed a little bit, it's become more up-tempo, but the hype, that pretty much still has not changed. We got the FIBA World Cup coming here this August. We're gonna be playing against NBA level talent, very, very tall hoopers, NBA height level talent. Um, what's your advice for Filipinos that are you know, short on height, but definitely not short on heart? Oh man, just shoot, the, the, the rim's still gonna be 10 feet, bro. They gonna put their shoes on the same way that the, the Filipinos put their shoes on. Um, they might be short, but shoot, short people just gotta box out a little tougher, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, they gotta be a little more physical. Just because they're tall, it don't mean nothing. You know, you go, take you care of the ball and rebound, you'll be fine. There you go, so ground battle, you said it here. Um, again, long, long, illustrious career. How does White Chocolate want to be remembered? Uh, I just want to be remembered as a good dude, bro. Like, this dude was a fun dude to be around. You know, basketball really, you know, I don't want it to be define me. I know it was a huge part of my life and it, it's helped me get to a lot of places. One being sitting right here talking to you, you know, without basketball, I wouldn't be doing this. But at the same time, when I leave here, I want you to be like, man, he was cool. And, and, and I like to sit on the porch with Buddy. Uh, I, I love that so much. All right, so I'm gonna throw it now to you. I want you to tell all the Hoopers out there to come see us at the SM. Mall of Asia Music Hall this weekend to watch the NBA 3X Philippines. All right, Mall of Asia this weekend. Come watch the 3X, see some poopers, drink some Mountain Dew, and let's have a good time. We thank you so much for your time. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. Thanks for having me.